Let me ask you three quick questions. Are you studying from home right now? How's that going for you? And can you really honestly say that you are giving this your best efforts? Many of us are working or studying from home right now. But how do we avoid the temptations of taking it easy since there's no teacher or person looking over us? Watch this video right to the end because when you take action on these seven things I'm going to share in this video, you're not going to be struggling to study effectively online anymore because you will have complete clarity and faith in yourself that no matter what or where you are or what you're doing, you are learning in the most effective way possible. The first tip is to find or create a quiet and focused space. You're here to work, you're here to study, and you're here to give this your absolute best focus and effort. Here is my suggestion to you, my friends. Set aside and create your own space to work even if it's as simple as a specific chair that you will sit at no matter what every single day to study, I want you to find or create your own dedicated study space. And every single time you take a seat in that space, that's it. The rest of the world is dead to you. And the only thing you're focused on is your studies. For some of you, you might like to decorate your desk with post-it notes, inspirational quotes, reminders, timetables, fairy lights, houseplants, whatever. And for some of you, you might need to radically reshift and completely change your room, getting rid of things to make a proper space for work and study. And make sure that you show up every single day at that spot. Make it your goal just to get there Open your laptop and get fired up. Some of you might not have that luxury, so you just need to find a chair, find a space, create your own study zone and some headphones to lock in and really focus. Tip number two is to treat whatever you're doing like a real class. If you're in your class right now, what would you do? Would you really be sat slouching in your chair with your pajamas on? Or would you be in your uniform, properly dressed, so that you could create a habit of being focused and being productive? Yeah, you may be at home right now, but why does that mean that you shouldn't treat this virtual learning thing as a real class? The difference between someone who is a follower and someone who's a leader is having to do something versus making the choice to. Which one are you? Tip number three is about practical steps, about getting yourself digitally organized because complexity and a lack of clarity are the enemies of getting things done. So get serious about organizing yourself. Create a calendar and a to-do list and stick to them both. Everyone knows the power of these really simple ideas. I'm not saying anything groundbreaking or new, but very few people, very few of you listening have the discipline to stick to this. You don't need anything complicated, but make your life easier by being clear on your study schedule. Because the more uncertain your organization is, the more uncertain your life will be. You want to study effectively online? You want to be more focused? Well, close all those random tabs on your browser. Stop multitasking and start single tasking. Focus on one thing at a time and keep doing it until you finish. Every Sunday, I want you to block out an hour to turn all your devices off and write every single task that you need to get done this week down on paper. That way, it's certain what you need to do and it's certain when you're going to get those things done. So you can tick every single thing on that list one after the other. Tip 
Tip number four, but let's be honest. Sometimes when you're learning, it's boring. It's not interesting at all. And what you're learning is hard to understand. What will you do then? When the learning gets boring, hard and uncomfortable, how do you tend to react? Be honest with yourself. One thing I've learned over the years is just because what I'm learning isn't engaging doesn't mean I have to be disengaged and uninterested. I can still be curious. I can still control how engaged and focused I am internally. And I can do that by asking questions, being present in the classroom. If I don't understand something, putting my hand up and speaking up and saying, excuse me, I really don't understand this concept. It's not making sense to me. Would you mind explaining it to me again in a different way, please? It's questions like this that help you stay engaged and get the most out of your learning. Take control and total responsibility over what you learn and how you learn. The best students aren't just the ones with the most talent. They're the ones who are the most engaged and proactive with their learning. So if you need to and you're not getting the answers or the insight or the understanding that you need in a topic, start your own virtual study group with someone who does understand this. Recruit people to your cause and get them to help you learn these concepts. But whatever you do, stay as engaged as you can. And if you find yourself lagging halfway through a video or a lesson, find a way to get back into focus and take an active part in your learning because it's yours, no one else's. Now, I'm no fan of being a victim and surrendering my power and making excuses, but equally, let's be realistic. We are living in the middle of an uncertain time right now and things are different. And that's okay. I want you to accept that things are going to be different to what you're used to. And one of the best things that you can do for your mental health and your well being is to practice compassion, acceptance and set some realistic expectations for yourself. Now don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying give up, don't try, and just be mediocre for the rest of your life. I'm saying be realistic in what you think and you expect is going to happen. Are you magically going to become a perfect student overnight? Especially after weeks, maybe even months, of just coasting along without really trying? Probably not. Okay, so the next tip actually has nothing to do with study tips or hacks, and it's simply take breaks. Move your body, because a still body is an uninspired body. So if you find your energy and your motivation lagging, and you're not focused, ask yourself, when was the last time you got up, had some water, hydrated yourself, and walked around for a bit? Nowadays, most of us have phones that can track our movement and our steps. So if yours does, use that feature to help you. Make it your goal to reach, at minimum, 6,000 steps every single day. Make it a goal to do at least one really short 15-minute walk in the middle of your day so you break your day up and you're moving your body so you can stay focused for longer you're going to make an effort you're going to try harder but at some point there's going to be a dip and i want you to expect that at some point your lazy unmotivated self is going to show up maybe not now maybe not tomorrow but maybe in a week it will happen at some point and when that happens What will you do? How can you plan for that? Which habits or actions can you decide now to help you study effectively even when you don't feel like it? How can you still get things done when you feel lazy and you don't want to? And the last tip is actually the most powerful because I want you to decide and I want to put it to a public vote. So go to the comment section right now and you tell me, what do you think is the number one thing we should all do to help us study effectively online? 
And the chances are, whatever advice you write, that is the advice you need to follow. And I believe that the best answers haven't come from me in this video. They're going to come from you in that comment section because you are the best expert on your life. So go ahead and share your best tip that you believe will help you move not just one or two steps forward, but 10 steps and will help others to study effectively as well. And then once you've done that, I want you to scroll through the comment section and give a thumbs up, not just to the video, but to the best answers that you see in the comments section. Who do you vote for? Which idea do you think is the most powerful? And let's see who comes up with the best answer because whichever one gets the most likes wins. Thanks so much for watching my friends. My name is Geshev and if you want to learn more about developing powerful habits and a positive mindset during times of uncertainty like this, check out my Skillshare class, Inner Compass. It helps you develop those solid habits and routines so you can be the most productive self possible. Click the link in the description to sign up for a free 14-day trial of Skillshare so you can check it out for free today and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.